Keep your distance. A message from Vision Care for a safer tomorrow. Exactly one year ago, on what was expected to be a day of celebration and renewal for the country's Christian community, terror struck. At 8.45 a.m., two suicide bombers simultaneously detonated explosive-laden backpacks inside at the Shrine of St. Anthony's in Kochikade, Colombo, and at the St. Sebastian's Shrine in Katuapiti, Nigambo. What followed next were more blasts, this time at the Kingsbury and Shangri-La hotels in Colombo, the Zion Church in Batiklo, and the Cinnamon Grand Hotel. Two more indirect detonations happened later on in the day, one at the Tropical Inn guesthouse in the Dehiwala suburb of Colombo, and another at the Demotagoda residence of one of the attackers as the pregnant wife of the Shangri-La bomber detonated an explosive device as police moved in a few hours later. The blast killed three police officers, including the bomber and her three children. In the end, the series of bombings resulted in the total deaths of 269 Sri Lankans and foreigners, both Christians and people of other faiths. However, subsequent discoveries of more improvised explosive devices throughout the city, targeting vital infrastructure and first responders to the attack sites, show that it could have been much higher. One bomb was found by Sri Lankan Air Force personnel and another large device was found in the van parked outside the St. Anthony's Shrine the next day. The device appeared to have been a secondary explosive aimed at emergency staff and volunteers assisting the dead and wounded, a calling card of radical Islamic extremists throughout the world. With the country currently facing a massive threat from the COVID-19 global pandemic and curfews keeping people at home, commemorations were limited to private solemn reflection as large gatherings have been deemed a public health risk. Archbishop of Colombo, His Eminence Malcolm Cardinal Ranjith, called on all Sri Lankans to observe two minute silence at 8.45 a.m. and offer prayer to the souls of the departed and those who continue to struggle to come to terms with their injuries and the loss of loved ones. Accordingly, the entire country came to a standstill this morning as people of all faiths joined in solidarity. The Cardinal presided over a special Mass today at the Bishop's House in Colombo, sans a congregation. Leave Ayush, Karabuniti Danta Lepaya, Shakti Mat